guys, this is Orlando. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a stuffed pepper. Now this is a couple weeks later that I'm doing this intro. I was editing the video and realized I didn't do a intro. I just went right into uh, giving you guys the ingredients. So this is the intro. I just wanted to um, open up the video and tell you guys that I am going to be doing a stuffed bell pepper, some stuffed bell peppers in this video. I hope that you enjoy. Don't forget guys to leave me a comment down below guys. I need you in order for YouTube to recognize me. You guys have to leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're out there. Give me some love. Now I know I got some family members that's watching my video. Y'all love to eat my food. Now, do y'all don't want me to cut you off, though, do you? So, Slaw, now you, I ain't going to say your name, but you know who you are. Now, y'all don't want me to cut y'all off from my good food. So, I need y'all to uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumb down and leave me a comment. A heart emoji, a smiling face, or something, or give me a sad face if you want to that's how my face gonna be looking every time y'all see me because y'all not coming all right guys i done made this intro too too long so i hope you enjoy the video okay for this recipe guys i'm gonna be putting mushrooms i had these mushrooms left over from the quiche that i made so i'm gonna be adding some mushrooms and mine got some onions here these are the bell peppers for the stuffed bell peppers. And then I'm gonna use a package of this onion soup mix. And I'm gonna use some of this herb season stuffing cube for my bread. And I'm gonna use one egg. That butter and the egg right here is for another recipe. And then of course you will need some ground beef. So I'm gonna wash my hands, get everything set out. And we're gonna start on this self bell pepper recipe. Okay guys, we're going to first start out by sanitizing and watching my green peppers. As you can see, I have this fruit and vegetable spray that I'm spraying on them. And I'm just going to rub it all over and make sure they're very clean. And then I'm going to uh, come back with some cold water and just rinse them off really good. All right, guys, first thing I'm going to do is get my bell peppers ready to be stuffed. So, move some of this stuff. I got kind of ahead of myself, so let me move those things out of the way. Okay, I have my four bell peppers here. I have my um, dish that I'm going to be baking them in and I just spray the bottom with Pam. So, you want to cut the tops of your bell pepper and it will leave it like that right there. So, you could um, reach in here and grab it out or you can take your knife and kind of slice. Don't go through it, but slice where the white part is and that'll kind of loosen it up and then you can just pull it out like this. I got my garbage bowl back here. You want to take all the white out of it as much as you can anyway. You can use a spoon to do this or you know you can take your fingers just do it like I'm doing. So as you can see it's clean out. So what you want to do is because well, our ground, beef, our ground beef don't have a whole lot of oil in it. So you really could miss this step. Well, I could. But I'm going to do this step because um, I want you to know how to do it. So you just take a knife and just punch a hole. 
and the bottom of your bell pepper, and that's gonna allow that grease from the ground beef to escape out of the, the, the bell pepper. And so for these, you would just cut around these, and you can just either put it in your freezer or you can put it inside your filling. It's up to you, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna show you one more time how we do it. You just take the bell pepper, you slice the top, how it looks and you could just take your hand in there just pull that piece out and pull out all the white in there and you can use your knife or you can just take your fingers do it with your finger like I'm doing and just remove all of that white and make sure you get all the seeds out do want to make sure you do that. All right. And this is what I'm left with. So you take your knife, punch a hole in the bottom, and sit on your can. So I'm gonna do this other two off the camera and then we'll start working on our filling. All right guys, my oven has preheated. Now we are gonna get started mixing this filling. It's pretty much the same, the way I do mine, it's pretty much the same as meatloaf except for I'm not gonna put any tomato sauce or anything in this filling, but I am gonna put it on top. And I'm also gonna make some tomato gravy to go with our rice. So, I have my ground beef here. This is about uh, a little over a pound of ground beef. So I have that, I have my onion soup mix. I have my, um, this pepper's form, uh, shoot, I can't think of what it's called. I got it soaking in milk. I put milk in, milk in there to soften it up. I have my egg. These are the seasons I'm gonna be using. I have some, some uh, Mrs. Dash. This is the garlic and herb seasoning. I'm gonna be using, of course, some onion powder. Gonna also be using some nature seasoning and some garlic powder. So we're gonna get started on mixing this. So I'm gonna get a fork out of here, guys. I have my gloves on, but I wanna kinda of break my meat up a little bit with my fork kind of spread it out and then I go put the filling in the middle the middle of it so I'm gonna do create like a little nest with my meat and I'm using ground beef but you can use ground turkey ground chicken ground pork whatever you prefer see I kind of got a little nest here so right here, I have my mushrooms. I got them diced up very fine. And I have my onions here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those first. And it's about a cup of each. You know, just, I never put mushrooms in mine before, but like I said, I had these mushrooms left over from another recipe and I didn't want them to go to waste. So, I decided to use some in this recipe. Okay, got those in there. Now I'm gonna add my onion soup mix package and it got the onions in there and seasoning. If you never tried it before in your meatloaf, it's delicious. Or your stuffed peppers. I have a little garbage can there. And then I have my bread soaking in this milk. So some of it's soft, some of it is not soft yet. So I'm kind of moving around in there. 
so it'll get softened. While we're waiting on this to get soft, a little bit softer, we're gonna go ahead and add our one egg. Oops. <laughs> one egg. Okay. I am going to take this glove off here so I can add my seasoning. So I'm gonna add my seasoning. You can add however much you want. Of course, you won't be able to taste it, so you don't wanna add too much because you can't take it away. And you can't taste it because it's raw meat. Got some onion powder. Good. And this is just gonna add more flavor. The more season you add, the more flavor you're gonna have. My nature seasoning. And it basically have um, onions, peppers, different spices, uh, celery, seeds, and parsley in this. Then last but not least, my garlic. I'm trying to open it one hand. I have my garlic powder here. Guys, look, see all the seasoning there. Got my egg, so I'm just gonna start mixing it all up real good. Well, you don't really have to have gloves on if you don't want to, but um, because I'm filming, I want to wear gloves so that way I can be able to take my gloves off and hit play and start. You know what, guys? Something else I want to add in this. I want to add a little Worcestershire sauce in this. Let me grab that out of the refrigerator. This is very salty, so you don't want to use a lot of it. I'm going to use a couple dashes. One, two, three. That's plenty. All right. I'm going to continue to mix this up. I'm going to add my bread to it, and we'll come back, and we'll start stuffing them in our bell pepper. Hold on just a minute, guys. All right, guys, we are going to start stuffing the bell peppers. Just put much as you want in there. Fill it up. Of course, you know, the, wheel, the meat will shrink some, so you want to make sure you stuff it really good. And um, it's going to be good and hearty. Get in line and take turns. It smells so, so delicious. I cannot wait to eat these. I haven't fixed them in a while. So I'm excited. I feel like I may have extra meat. And if I do, I just put it in a loaf pan and make a meatloaf. We have that for another meal. How about that? That will be great, huh? Two meals in one. That's a win-win. Today is Tuesday. So I will have that for Wednesday. And we got um, Bible study Wednesday night. We do it on the conference line. So my husband has to teach tomorrow night. So we already already have the food ready. So when he come home, he can just eat and well get a shower, eat and then get ready for the word. So I do have some left. 
So I'm gonna put this in a little small loaf pan and we are going to put it in the oven and make us a meatloaf with it. So happy about that. I want to start doing meal planning, guys. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do for meal planning. If that's something that you would be interested in, leave me a comment down below. And let me take a minute to thank you guys for clicking on my video. I really appreciate you guys. I um, appreciate you new subscribers. Thank you so, so much for giving me a chance to entertain you through my cooking or my um, grocery haul, spiritual content, just whatever. I just thank you so much. And I thank my family as have continued to be as a striver. I thank you guys so much, but I need you guys to please, please give me a heart. It don't cost anything, it's free. Leave me a heart emoji. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. That's the only way YouTube is gonna um, recognize me if I give a if I get those thumbs up and I get those comments. So, you know, I know you're looking at the videos, but still, I need you guys to do that for me. Thumbs up the video. Don't forget. All right, guys. I'm gonna put uh, some foil over this, and we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, guys, we're gonna put these in the oven. I have my oven at 350 to 50 degrees. And I'm gonna let these cook for an hour and 25 minutes and then we'll take them out and check them and go from there. I also have a little loaf pan here that I'm gonna add my other meat to and I just set it off in this loaf pan um, because that one is just so flingy. So, we'll come back an hour and 25 minutes, guys, and we will give y'all a taste of this mm, stuffed pepper. I almost said meatloaf. All right, guys. I added some cheese to it off camera. Jesus, how the stuffed peppers look. Mm, look at that, guys. It looks so delicious. I am going to plate it up, and I will let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. The oven uh, fan is on. But this is Gary Plate. I have him a stuffed pepper here. I don't know if I told you guys. Um, I add a little cheese on top and put it back in the oven to let it melt. I also have some Spanish rice here, and then I have some white rice with tomato gravy. I just like tomato gravy with my um, stuffed bell peppers. So, you say where is the vegetable? Pepper green right here, guys. The bell pepper, that's the vegetable. I did want some coleslaw inside, but I didn't want to go into the grocery store, so this is what's gonna be. This is Gary's plate. Okay, guys, this is my plate. I wanted to sample this right quick for you guys. Cut this pepper open so you can see what it looks like. See, it has juices in there. Here is eight years. He said it was so delicious. This is the inside, guys. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit of piece of this pepper off. Still kind of crunchy. Some people boil theirs first and uh, bake theirs first. And I like mine to have a little crisp to it. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of this meat. Let's see, guys. Hold on. Okay guys, excuse how I'm looking. I'm already ready for bed. So I want to show you guys what it looks like and I'll give it a taste. Mm. You know 
lines, but can I look over? Come on. Do this just guys. Well, I do need a little bit of salt. A little bit more salt in it. I don't cook with like salt. I'm scared I don't need salt. But other than that, it is so delicious, guys. Mm. I'm gonna eat this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments if you like still bell pepper or have you ever tried it. Some people put shrimp in there. Rice, you know, you can just do all type of stuff with it, but this is how I made this one tonight. So, thank you guys so much again for clicking on this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Have a blessed night and a long.